The top international news story this morning, the political standoff in Maldives shown no, shows no signs of easing with the country's former President Mohammad Nasheed still holed up inside the Indian embassy in Mali. But as India tries to broker a dialogue between the ruling party and the opposition, Maldives has lost a strong protest with New Delhi claiming that we are trying to interfere in their internal affairs. <laughs> The crisis in Maldives entering the sixth day when Mohammad Nasheed is still inside the Indian Embassy and Maldives has for the first time spoken tough. It's for the first time ever that the island nation of Maldives has summoned the head of a diplomatic mission to protest against this alleged interference into what it calls its internal matters. The political observers here say that this particular move of the Wahid government reveals its desperation about trying and wanting to get the former President Nasheed out of the Indian embassy at all costs. Expressing strong reservations about providing protection to the former president, the Maldivian foreign minister has also handed a harsh protest note to the Indian High Commissioner, allegedly accusing India of meddling in the country's internal affairs. What matters for us that you have a stable Maldives, you have a strong Maldives, you have a secured Maldives. Because all these impact and you know, we're trying to closely uh, you know, observe the situation that is evolving. And we're also trying to facilitate a dialogue. India's attempt to negotiate is being viewed by Maldives as interference. But there is a global chorus for free and fair elections to be held. But on the other hand, India continues to be in a tough diplomatic position. With Megha Prasad in Mali, Raul Dalal, Times Now.